of a package for a repair from uh, Evan. So Evan sent me uh, a long time ago uh, an info globe to uh, change over to a, uh, an internet globe. So now he sent me something else to see if I could repair. It's, uh, of course, you already know it's in the description. It's one of them uh, scientific super fancy calculators that's got sticky buttons. I guess uh, some coffee got spilled on them. Now it's got clicky, clicky buttons. So we're going to see if we can get it apart and uh, clean up the keypad. Got Texas Instruments. Fancy super calculator. It's the TI-84 PLCE. 5 volts, half an amp. Made in the Philippines. Fancy. It's got a USB port. That's what it looks like. Super fancy. Graphing graphing calculator. All kinds of buttons. So, check out some of the buttons. Oh yeah, you can tell. Oh, turn it on. Turn it off. So, we got to see if we can get this apart. So it looks like there's uh, two, four, six screws in the back. What do we got for uh, hardware here? Pentalope, I guess. We got that kind. We got pentalopes. Or torques. Might be a Torx. Let's see. It's too big. Still too big. Still too big. Zoom. So I didn't know whether it was this was a snap together type of thing or a uh, screws. I would imagine it would have been could have been either or. Them two take the battery out. That's a regular Phillips. It's a tri -win. So that's the battery. So what do we got for a battery? Texas Instruments, 3.7 volts, 1200 milliamps. Okay. That's pretty simple. Kind of like a cell phone battery. Okay, we got that. We got some more screws.
Now, is there anything under these? Let's see if it comes apart. Might be clipped together too. Let's see if there's anything under here. Sometimes they hide screws under these little pads. Oh, there's nothing under that. Okay. We'll see if we can get under them. I held on like some clips. Even got a little barcode thing in here. That's interesting. I guess it's for like a college setting or something like that. When you're assigned to these things. So we got this plastic shield. I mean, RF shield. Hold all this stuff together. Here's a big glue down. Okay, so that's that. Now let's see if we can get under it, under the PCB. Looks like it just clipped in.
one of these are welds. Folded over welds. Plastic welds. It's like a rivet. Something like that. Definitely, I think that's what's holding it. There's four of these, like, uh, melted over little uh, standoffs. I believe that's what captures this thing in here. So, probably what we'll have to do is uh, see if we can. Uh, them off. Try one to see what that does. them in there.
one more. <laughs> I gotta be very careful with this stuff. You don't wanna break the PCB. Disconnector for the display. Okay. Set that just like that. Now we're in. We're in like Flynn. So here's the keypad. this and then we got all the little buttons <laughs> so all this stuff will have to be uh, washed and the keypad do is take a picture of the uh, where the keys go because uh, they're just sort of uh, in there So, all I'm going to do now is just uh, clean up these, uh, these buttons, and then uh, we'll put this thing back together. So, uh, stay tuned for the next segment. Alrighty. Just got done cleaning and drying all the uh, individual keys, and I wiped down the uh, button head. So... For the calculator and the buttons, uh, I just uh, threw in a, uh, a container and filled it up with some hot water and dumped all the keys and the, and the buttons and that. Rinsed off the uh, outside jacket case buttons, get all the coffee and sugar out of them and then uh, dry them and then put all the keys back. So, kind of a monotonous uh, task, but you figure it out. That's why you take a picture. So you can put the keys back where they belong because there's a lot of buttons. So, clean and dry. We're ready to put it back together and ship it out. So let's put the uh, button bar back on. Button hands. So we'll put that on. First, help if I put it on the right way. CD back on. Sure, it's all the way down. And then as for this thing, it's kind of like a, right now it's considered as an afterthought now. Put it back in as best as we can because the uh, screws are going to hold it together really at this point, including the uh, PCB because we uh, chopped off all the little mushroom heads for the uh, 
for the PCB. So right now, just the uh, there should be enough support putting this thing back on to uh, hold it together. That all looks good. You can definitely tell that the keys are nice and clean now. Okay, it's easy. So put the screws back in. There are two little Phillips that we gotta put in first. So we gotta find them. Shorter ones. Clamshell found a new latch to clamp into. Guys, back in. Back tree back in. Cover back on. on. Ram cleared, so whatever memory was in it is uh, gone, but it's alright. So make sure that it's on. It turns off. Turns back on. So it went through a reset. So whatever parameters that Evan had, you'll have to uh, rediscover them and uh, Put him back into his uh, liking. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that all works. No, plus uh, one. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see, nine, nine times nine. Eighty-one. So it seems to be all working. Got that, we got that, we got that. That stuff. All this stuff. So apparently everything is working. All the buttons work. They all feel good. So that's awesome. And then everything seems to be working and good. So a little successful, uh, I guess, maintenance. I guess we can call for this because we really didn't fix anything other than a uh, little maintenance, a little cleaning, 
and the little reassembly. So uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you learned something on these uh, little uh, Texas Instruments TI-84 CE little graphing scientific calculator. Really fancy. I mean, I got something sort of similar, but it doesn't have a fancy display on it. Or, uh, minus some of the buttons. Let's see if I can find that, and uh, we'll uh, compare from something from the uh, 90s to whenever this thing was. So, uh, stand by for that little clip. So, 90s, 80s, I don't really know when this one was uh, around, but... So this one is the, uh, this is like a scientific calculator, so this is mine that I had since from school back in the 90s compared to uh, this thing. So it's got some of this, it's got some similar buttons on it. It's got the cause, the tan, the sin, the uh, double E and stuff like that. It just, uh, on this one, you got to, uh, you know, use the shift key and the function key and stuff like that to bring that stuff up, the second key and, and all that other neat stuff. So, uh, yeah, technology has evolved since, uh, since stuff, some of this stuff has come to be and stuff like that. So, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.